episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voice inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm ID Explosive One, and we're playing the Infectious Madness of Dr. Dr. Yes, we are. Hey, Adriana. Hey, Adriana. Mariana just got <laughs> caught in a lie. She did. And we're going to confront her about it. Oh, don't confront her. No, I'm confronting her. You're going to confront her? Hey, wait, hey, Mariana, I thought the Uber driver took you home on I Valentine's Day night. On Valentine's night, the Uber driver took me home. Then I got a text from Decker asking to meet him here. So, I walked. And then he ended up dead. Why did Decker want to meet you again? He said he had a proposal for me. That if I gave him what he wanted, he'd give me what I wanted. Oh. Oh. What did he want? His money back. I didn't have it. Well, of course. That's a lot of money. What did you want? Mmm. Don't you know what I want? I don't know. Don't. Come on, lady. I don't want to play these freaking mind games, all right? Just... <sighs> Oh, God. And see, we have to finish all of these up before we can go to I the know, next right? one. How far is your house from here? I suppose it's about an hour's walk from here to my house. Oh, my God. Lady, take another Uber. I mean, she's in good shape for a reason, my dude. Yeah, I guess so. I've taken walking to the sea, swim to the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, walking a mile to come owe a guy money. Um, did you take the prescription pad? Wow. That's a low blow, doctor. And after all our sessions, I'm not a thief. Even alone, that was just unfortunate. Now we made her mad. I couldn't have gotten yeah, to I the know, other right? questions. Tell me about the loan then. Dr. Decker asked for his loan back after diagnosing me as sane. In his opinion, my blackouts and everything else were fictional. He had no proof, of course. Either way, or I'd be cured, but he asked for his money back, and I didn't have it. Oh, uh, that stinks. Yeah, well, you shouldn't borrow what you can't pay back. Do you know Jaya got a letter from the small claims court? Yeah, let's find out about that. You can't get blood out of stone, doctor. Squeeze me as hard as you can. <laughs> Old habits die hard, huh? All right. Has anyone else turned up at your home? You're a naughty one, doctor. You know you visited my home. Why do you keep denying it? I want to know what she meant by we get inside of her. <laughs> I do. She and said it, that. And it hurts. Yeah, like, we obviously, haha, ha, induendo. But we know that's not what Yeah, happens. I don't know, dude. I did not visit you at home. I did not. Don't you remember? That's a shame. You had fun. We had fun, what dude. What does that mean? Did you what? Did you have an Xbox or something? Did you have? Did you have like Mountain Dew and Doritos? <laughs> did we eat cupcakes and Mountain Dew? Right. What did we do? If you can't remember, I'm certainly not going to enlighten you. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a giant life. Oh, come on. That's it? That's all we get? Come on. All right, fair enough. All right, let's go to somebody else. Who do we got? We got Jaya's done. We got Bryce. We Claire's done. We got Elin, and we got Nathan. Let's go with one of the dudes, man. All right, let's go with Nate. Um, Nasty Nate. How do you feel about Hannah now? More about, oh, have things been going with Mariana? Uh-oh. And if we can question him about the prescription pad as well. Let's start out with a general, hey, how you doing? I think you know who killed Dr. Decker. So oh, you're going to wow. have a good day. Can we talk a bit about hypnotism, though? I think you know who killed him, so we're going to have a good day. Let's talk about hypnotism. Wait, <laughs> look, guy, who, who, who killed him? This might feel like the darkest timeline, but it's not my darkest timeline. I didn't kill Dr. Decker. Obviously. I look at one of your other patients. Or maybe even your assistant. 
Oh, oh he's okay. trying to say Jaya did it. Also sounds like he's projecting or trying to shift the blame. Right. I think right now Bryce is at, like at the top of my list. Oh, we told him to go out with Mariana, and we told yeah. her to go out with him. Yeah, you don't remember. Yeah. I, I remember now that it says how things been with Mariana. Yeah, we need to ask him about that. Uh, let's ask him about hypnotism. Yeah, right. I guess. I've heard you can plant key words in people when they're hypnotized. How would I know if I had any? I think that the hypnotism didn't take, but maybe Dr. Decker did hypnotize me. And it did work, and he told me to think that it didn't. I think I found one of the key words. Well, what's the key word, Nathan? Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. All right, what key word, Nate? I can't say what it is. Oh. I don't want to trigger it. I was on the phone to my dad last night, and he said something, and boom, I fell asleep. <laughs> Normally, I wish that kind of thing would happen, but it just happened. I phoned him back. I thought it was seconds, but it was an hour later. I asked him what he'd said. He'd watched some NASA program. He was reading off planets. It was one of them. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Pluto isn't a planet, jackass. All right. Uh, I mean, I guess we could play around with him. Yeah, I guess so. Which yeah. planet do you want me to say? Let's go with Pluto, because he might say, Pluto? Pluto isn't even a planet. Pluto's not a planet. <laughs> and why are you even trying? <laughs> what a jerk. All right, we're going to say another one here in a second. <laughs> Guaranteed. Do you know about the prescription pad, Nate? Yeah, let's see what he has to say. His prescription pad's missing. The one with all the death threats on it. Do you think the murderer took it to cover their tracks? I do. And who could have done it without being seen? Somebody with an extra hour. Mmm. Mm. How are they covering their tracks? I suppose it could be a coincidence, but I'm guessing whoever murdered Dr. Decker stole his prescription pad. Yeah, that's clear. And the only person that has access to the Tenazepam so far uh -huh. is Bryce. Is that the Skull and Crossbones pill? No, Jesus, this, that's Nathan. That was from, like, week one. <laughs> Dude, I don't remember anything. I've noticed that. That's all right. That's why I'm here with the with the deductive mindset, and I watch the videos back again when I upload them. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> so I get, like, a little refresher. Oh, uh, that makes sense. But okay. we, asked, Secrets we, out. we asked Bryce. He said that he had tenazepam, and he said he never took it, though. Mariana said she had it, and she was giving it away at the club, because we were talking about, that, why is she giving away sleeping yeah, pills at the club? Yeah. Like, the... Yeah, she's drugging the dudes and f taking them into the sea, dude. All right, how about Mars? Yeah. I don't want it to be triggered. <laughs> Could you please stop? All right, we'll, we'll leave And go to Saturn, now. I guess. Uh, how have things been with Mariana? Things have been interesting. Thanks to Mariana. Oh. <laughs> how are things with Mariana? Things have been interesting. Thanks to Mariana. Why thanks to Mariana there, guy? We went on a date. What sort of? She texted me this bar she was going to, and I just turned up. That's... She can dance. It's not a date, yo. I was transfixed most of the night. Next thing I know, I'm lying in my bed at home. The room's spinning. The day moved forward. In fact, every night I go and watch Mariana dance, the day moves forward. Do you think Mariana likes me? Wait oh, God. Wait a minute. The day moves forward and every night? I thought that he only went... No, I, mean, I think he means generally. He doesn't. He doesn't repeat his days. Oh, okay. Like okay. the day moves forward, like that. So he's escaping death somehow with that, huh? He's escaping like because since his days repeat, when mm. Marianne tries to take him to the sea, he doesn't die. He, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, like I said, he's escaping death because he's he's putting himself in the way of harm, like a hundred percent. Yeah, he's going to watch the siren. Let's tell him that she likes him. Yeah. Thanks, Doctor. That's what I'm hoping. Because I like her. Cool. You can have her. How about Saturn? He's messing with us. He's messing with us.
What the hell was that, dude? I should tell Nathan. Nathan, he went into a trance. Okay. 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 I thought he was messing with us. He just went into a trance. <laughs> so he did plant me with something. I have absolutely no idea. Did you find out what the key word is? What is it? No. Don't say it. Write it down for me. And thank you. You know, there's something I've not been telling you. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. What have you been telling me, Nate? It's about time travel. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus Christ, Here we man. go, dude. All of these people need to be fucking locked up, man. I'm telling you right now. All right, dude. Tell me about your time yep, travel. Tell me about it. I read a book about time travel. I thought what was happening to me was a type of time travel. I couldn't control it, but at the end of each day, I would travel back in time to the beginning and live it over again. I'm like Doctor Who, but I don't have a TARDIS, and I can't choose what time I go to. Except once. Okay. Okay. Okay, well tell me something about that. So yeah. he's not really repeating days, he's traveling back in time. Sure. Tell me about sure, the one. Yeah, right. Exactly. The doctor said she was legally still alive. The only thing they could do was starve her. Hannah didn't die in the accident the first time around. It was worse than death. She wouldn't have wanted that. I was looking at a photo from around the time of the accident. I had a lot of alcohol, which I think was probably necessary. I jumped back to the junction. I started pulling out, but the lorry was already on us. I drove into the lorry to make sure. I didn't wake up in hospital. Because I woke up the next day, present day. Things had changed. What? Yeah, yeah, right? So he intentionally made the accident worse so that she would die and not live as a vegetable, is what I'm getting from that. Uh... That's what I'm getting from that. Yeah, yeah. So what had you? So what did you change about her death? Her obituary changed in the press clippings I kept. It said she was killed instantly. Okay. Yeah. Nothing else changed. Her family seemed to hate me more, which is ironic because the first time around they pulled her off life support. So I saved them the indignity. Now they just think it's my careless driving that caused her death. Okay. 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 So I he's mean, actually being a good guy. Oh, there's the girl. Did you see her? I do. What the hell is she doing here? Yeah, because the girl was... Oh, yeah, no, that was for him. It was him that was talking about the girl. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah, okay, maybe. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Either way, what the hell is she doing here? All right, but we'll do it on the next one. That's all the time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you already did that, hit that notification bell for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we are out.